Japan has a reputation of being a very clean country, but there are a lot of exceptions. It costs about 30 US dollars to recycle a TV in Japan. Someone saved on that by just chucking it in the river. It's a basket case. The plastic chest of drawers add beauty to the scenery. This is a sign telling people not to leave their rubbish here but to take it home with them. Please don't throw rubbish. Here's the TV again. And some plastic to go with. Street rubbish, street garbage, it's a mess. Well here we've got some <clears throat> garbage just dumped to the side of the street and if we pan up you can see here where a huge part of woodland has just been clear cut for housing. Here you can see the uh, trunks of the trees which have been collected and as the woodland has been cut down lo and behold it reveals a love hotel which is not quite so discreet as it was before the trees were cut down this area has just been used as a fly tip there's a bicycle here and there's also various other sort of bits of trash which has just been dumped here So this is the local recycling center known as AISA. Let's see if we can film inside. This is a modern European style recycling center in Nishin, Aichi Prefecture in central Japan. A success story where residents can recycle electrical goods, cans, CDs, plastics, glass and other items. As you can see, it's pretty popular. Discarded masks have long been a problem in Japan, especially since the onset of coronavirus. This place just looks like a huge collection of garbage. This is a gomiyashiki in Japanese, a horde of trash. The sign is a warning. Dumped cars have become part of the landscape. This is a recycling center for metal. Rotate chicken. It's garbage.